Hey everybody, Ruth aka Book Jedi here and I am doing a little mini book haul because I just got a new book. One of the new books that I'm going to show you I want to get into now. So, you know, I just want to do this little mini haul so I can actually um, start the book and, you know. Alright, so getting started. Three books are from the Dollar Tree. And are the beginning of two are like a, the beginning of a series. The third one I think is a standalone. I don't remember. Um, so let's get started. And the fourth one is from Barnes and Nobles with a bookmark that I saw that I actually liked. So the first book I'm going to show you is The Technologists by Matthew Pearl, author of the Dante's Club. And if I could actually. And it looks like this. So it's a Technologists by Matthew Pearl. And <clears throat> from what I've read, it's like based in Boston, 1868. The Civil War may be over, but a new war has begun. One between past and present, tradition and technology. The Daring Massachusetts Institute of Technology is on a mission to harness science for the benefit of all. When an unusual, unnatural <coughs> disaster strikes the ships in Boston Harbor and an equally inexplicable catastrophe devastates the heart of the city, an anti-science backlash casts a pall over MIT and threatens its very survival. So the best and brightest from the Institute's first graduating class secretly join forces to save innocent lives and track down the truth. Armed with ingenuity and their <coughs> unique scientific training, gifted war veteran Marcus Mansfeld, Blue Blood Robert Richards, genius <coughs> Edwin Hoyt, and brilliant freshman <coughs> Ellen Swallow will match wits with a master criminal bent on their utter destruction of the city. <coughs> <coughs> I actually might give that to my boyfriend. He seems to be very interested in technology, so, you know. The next book, I think, is one of the books that is the first in the series. And it's called Benedict Hall by Kate Campbell. And it's a novel. Um, <coughs> based in the 1920s. Horse story carriages, modern girl bobs. <coughs> um, it's about a girl named Margaret, the Benedict's free-spirited daughter. Struggles to succeed as a physician despite gender bias. <clears throat> so basically it's about a woman who wants to try to go into a field that's dominated by men. So I guess it's, this book is actually good for this month since um, March is women's history. So um, after one of the books that I'm going to read, <coughs> I'm actually going to get into that one maybe after. <coughs> and the last book from the, the Dollar Tree, <coughs> excuse me, the last book from the Dollar Tree is The Seance Society by Michael Nethercott, Nethercott, or something like that, like butchering. Um, it's about, um, a few, I think this is, I, I'm mm, about ready to drop my book, right? Um, it's in 1956, and a character, one of the characters' names is <coughs> Lee Plunkett, um, t has taken over the family business as a private investigator in Connecticut. Um, when murder intrudes on a group of ghost seekers, Lee agrees to take on the case, despite his reluctance to follow his father's footsteps. Okay. So that seems that seems you know appealing. All right, now get to get to the book that I got from Barnes and Nobles, and it's actually making its rounds on BookTube right now. I've heard a few good things about it. <coughs> At the moment, I didn't hear that much negative. Uh, I didn't I didn't read any reviews on Goodreads, so. Um, 
right now I'm only gonna solely base myself on what I the good things that I hear about the book and uh, the book if I can reach it ah, here we go. the book that I'm gonna show you is Roseblood by H.G. Howard she's the author of the splintered series and according to the sticker that's on the book it's a Barnes & Noble exclusive that has secret journal entries inside um, from what I've heard about this book it's basically a retelling of the Phantom of the Opera now I like I saw the movie for Phantom of the Opera loved it uh, the guy who played the Phantom in the rendition that I saw was the guy who played in Dracula 2000 which I don't think many of you have heard of unless you like movies from the early 21st century I guess um it was actually that movie the other movie was in 2000 <coughs> while I was in, while I was still in high school and the guy who plays that guy played in the Phantom of the Opera, and being that the Phantom of the Opera is based on a book that was written in the I think the eighteen nineteen hundreds, and I know loop. I went into a loop. I know. I apologize. Rant. Weird rant. Sorry. Not really sorry. But this book is based on that. It's a retelling of that book, the Phantom of the Opera. The main female character. <clears throat> from the trailer that I saw is actually a singer just like the female singer of the Phantom of the Opera and she meets a boy who's a violinist N nothing that the trailer of the book did not touch on she meets the violinist boy and she there's mention of the female character from the Phantom of the Opera which is Christine Daye. So, I think the violinist boy is the son of Christine Daye. I don't know. I'll have to read the book to actually see the link between the boy and Christine Daye. And I'm assuming the girl, the main character, from what I've seen and heard gets sent to the French boarding school to train for vocals because she, her voice is magnificent and so forth so I can't wait to get into that book and see what it's about now the bookmark that I bought with that book is I like big books and I cannot lie And it looks like this. So I'm actually planning on using this bookmark on this book. And one of the things that has already caught my attention was how some of the pages looked. That's like that. And you see the girl's face. And another thing that caught my attention was the color of the ink. The color of the ink. I'm not gonna do, do no sh um, close-ups, and the color of the ink is red. It's actually red ink. So yeah, I can't wait to get into that book. So if you read any of these books, let me know down below what you thought about them. So ciao for now. If you like this video, hit the like button. Ciao for now.